morning, checking out Uptown Charlotte, where it is 74 degrees, lots of low clouds right now. Nicole will have an update on your weather-wise forecast in three minutes. It is the Great Transit Test. Juliana, Terrence, and I had to travel from mystery locations and get to Uptown using public transportation and 10 bucks. Check it out. Alternative transit is hot in Charlotte, and with cats unveiling possible routes for a new light rail, our producers wanted us to look into public transit, but they didn't tell us how. Why are there so many pieces of paper? The Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Matthew's Presbyterian Church. Carolina Place Mall. That's my hood. Shops at Highland Creek. Are we going shopping? Unfortunately, no. We would have to get to our randomly selected locations and attempt to get to Uptown using only public transit. Um, alrighty then. Can I pick something closer? Our producers were nice enough to give us a few tools. $10 cash, a phone with the Cats app loaded on it, a route map, and a lifeline we could use for help. We headed to our start points. Uh, it just says it's four minutes away. So it's that 58 bus, like I said. How many times does the bus come here a day? Well, this stop is only served during rush hour, and the next closest stop was a mile away. Help. I was having better luck and had found my bus to Uptown. Good old number 27. And I was on the number 58 bus heading to the light rail. Please stand clear of the platform end. After a little work, we finally made our way to the J.W. Clay Light Rail Station. At this point, we were all heading uptown. And we were getting there rather quickly. It was good. Um, I think... People were very helpful. One, um, that ride the bus on a regular basis. Driver was very helpful. It really was a good time. I had the chance to meet some really cool people, and, and I had a good time. It was fun. <laughs> and it was so clean. <laughs> Public transportation was so clean in Charlotte. It actually was a really good time. Um, <laughs> Derek, this is funny. When I was on the train, of course, we were filming, mm -hmm. and I was, like, talking to myself. Two separate people came up to me and they're like, are you a blogger? Are you on YouTube? I was like, no, I'm on TV. I'm on TV. I'm famous, people. I was Miss Sprint Cup, y'all. Come on. No. I, so I told them to watch, but it was just funny because, yeah, were you talking to yourself? Uh, yeah, I got, some, I got some weird looks. Well, because it, it was a little GoPro camera. It wasn't mm -hmm. like a typical TV camera. So I could see so, that's why someone yeah. is thinking you're shooting like a YouTube mm -hmm. something or other when you're, you're doing that. Um, I will say, though, the app didn't, I, that didn't help me. <laughs> and, and it helped me, but a lot of people download the wrong app. You oh. have to, yeah, there's a ticketing app, and then there's an app that has maps. So you have to double check when you download what it. What I was thinking is that in real time, I would know where the bus is, mm -hmm. and that's not it part of that. Yeah, no. so I was, I and was like, I don't And it's not, like, this. in any signs or anything either, so. How'd you get out of this, Nicole? Yeah, no one <laughs> <laughs> no one asked me, so I don't know. Maybe it's because I've taken public transportation before. Have you guys done it? Uh, this was a, this was a first time on one of the buses. I've done the light rail a bunch. Yeah, I don't know. It was All just right. a test. <laughs> got, got out of it this morning.